Valentine's Day here. It's a few days after Valentine's Day for you guys, but I love Valentine's Day and I wanted to talk about how I spent my Valentine's Day. So happy Saturday morning. I hope you guys had an amazing Valentine's Day. I have a little Valentine's Day haul and um, yeah, just a small haul. We don't go too big on Valentine's Day just because it's very, like, I don't know. I feel like commercialized in a way. So we're not massive, massive Valentine's Day people. But I did get a little haul that I'm going to talk to you about. Also, I read, I spent my Valentine's Day reading. And um, we went out to breakfast. And then I thought that was it. We were just going to have a little breakfast date after the gym. And I totally appreciated that. And then I spent my afternoon reading this adorable book called Dungeons and Drama. I was in the mood for a nice little rom-com. This is very YA. It was so cute. I absolutely loved this book. Um, I have no bad things to say about it. It is essentially theater girl. Um, decides to branch out a bit. Well, she really doesn't decide. She doesn't have a choice. Um, her dad owns like a gaming store. And so she gets in trouble for taking the car without asking and driving to like a musical that she didn't want to miss. So she gets in trouble. She gets grounded and she has to help out in her dad's gaming store which she like adamantly has not wanted to help out in or go to before. And there she meets a boy who works there part time, but also runs a D and D table. And um, yeah, it's just really cute. Normal high school problems, homecoming. It's very fake dating and it is very little spice. The most that they do is like kiss in this book it's very teenager friendly and YA. Um, I will be definitely giving this one to my teenagers around to read. Um, my daughter has a has a friend who loves all of my book recommendations and is constantly in here getting stuff off my shelves. So she'll definitely be getting that one to read this weekend. Um, and then I spent my afternoon reading that and it was super cute. If you were looking for a fun YA rom-com that's just very fluffy and fake dating is your trope that you like, definitely give it a read. It's a fun, fun book. Um, don't put too much into it now because it's not, like I said, going to change your world. It's not going to make you cry. Uh, it made me tear up a little bit at the end, but it's like nothing earth shattering, but definitely a fun read. And then we went to P.F. Chang's for dinner, which was a surprise. I love P.F. Chang's because it is very, like, vegetarian, gluten-free, low-carb friendly. Normally, I get the lettuce wraps there, but I had just been there for a birthday party and had the lettuce wraps. So I didn't want the lettuce wraps again and decided on their California roll. It was so good. I love a good California roll. And you can do a bad California roll real easy. But if it is a good California roll with like super fresh cucumber, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, so got the California roll from P.F. Chang's. And I thought that was it then. And then we ended up walking over to my favorite store. You guys already know where this is going. Barnes & Noble. And, um, I was so excited. He told me, I, my husband, um, told me I could pick any book that I wanted. And I spent a good hour in there looking around. I had so many books in my hands. The new Alex Michaelitis book, you know, I loved his The Maidens and, um, The Silent Patient. I loved both of those books by him. He has a new one out that I really want to read. That was in my hand for a little while. Um, the Rosaline book 
was in my hand for a little while. I might put that one on my hold at the library. Um, and I left with this book right here, which is These Hollow Vows. It is, I believe, just a duology. And um, it's the first book. And I'm really, really excited about it. I have a friend who read this series and enjoyed it. I plan to absolutely smash this series, hopefully this week. Um, I'm waiting on book two from the library because I only bought book one. So, yeah. And then my husband, sneaky, sneaky husband that he is, found these stickers. They are um, fourth wing vinyl stickers. You can see here the different ones you can get. And so as we were checking out, he put these up on the counter and I'm really excited about them. I really, really, really love the book one, of course, with the different books that they kind of talk about in the series. What do we have? We have um, Navarra History, the Dragon Riders Codex, all kinds of different books that they talk about. And um, so I love that sticker. I do not know what I'm going to do with them. What is everybody doing with their vinyl stickers. I've done cups. I've done all kinds of stuff. I really want to put these somewhere cool. Like I have my Kindle. I don't have it on my desk right now. It's charging. But my Kindle is totally covered in stickers. Um, I might add some more to my Kindle. But what's everybody doing with their vinyl stickers? I need to know because I got a bunch of them. And I want to put them on something. So yeah. Let me know what you're doing with your vinyl stickers. Love you guys. I will see you guys on Monday. Talk to you later.